Every day, electric cars are becoming more and more popular, but there's still one question on the minds of many. Can a battery electric car really be as reliable as a car with a combustion engine? The short answer is yes, absolutely, but a lot of people are still under the impression that owning an electric car means having to deal with an expensive battery replacement every couple of years, and that they lose charge the same way a cell phone battery does. As a sweeping view, that is just not the case. While battery replacements do happen, they're rare, so today we're going to look at what actually happens to a Tesla over the course of its life. We'll be looking at a lot of real world examples, including extreme examples where these cars last longer than any others, and breaking down some of the myths about EV longevity and their environmental impact, so let's get into it. When comparing the life expectancy of electric and ICE cars, there are a few key differences to take into consideration. The life expectancy of a car with a combustion engine varies by brand and when it was made, but the average is around eight years or 150,000 miles, according to consumer reports. Of course, that number can sometimes go up to 15 years and 300,000 miles or more if the car is well-maintained. In general, proper maintenance can make the car last a lot longer, but eventually something is going to break. Quote, when a vehicle exceeds 200,000 miles, you are riding on on borrowed time and the car is paying you back. EVs don't obey that rule. They have far fewer moving parts and therefore require less maintenance and have fewer opportunities for parts to fail. According to greencars.com, it's not uncommon for modern EV batteries to last more than 10 years, and some will go well beyond that before needing to be replaced. The average EV owner will sell their car long before they would need to replace the battery pack. Having fewer parts also means less maintenance over the car's life. According to the US Department of Energy, all electric vehicles typically require less maintenance than conventional vehicles because the battery, motor, and associated electronics require little to no regular maintenance. There are fewer fluids, such as engine oil that require regular maintenance. Brake wear is significantly reduced due to regenerative braking, and there are far fewer moving parts relative to a conventional fuel engine. But what about the battery? Well, in the rare case that it does fail, Teslas come with a battery and drive unit warranty that's as long as the average ICE vehicle's lifespan. It's eight years or 150,000 miles for the Model S or X, eight years or 100,000 miles for the rear wheel drive Model 3, and eight years or 120,000 miles for the long range or performance Model 3 and why. They also add, whichever comes first with minimum 70% retention of battery capacity over the warranty period. Basically, if the battery has lost 30% of its total capacity, it's considered needing a replacement. So how fast does this happen? It depends how you treat your battery. Most EVs see between 1% and 3% degradation per year, losing more capacity in the first couple years before eventually leveling out. According to another survey, the average EV owner only sees a 2% battery decline after the first three years, and a 7% percent decline after six years. The Model S has been observed to lose less than 5% of its range from 50,000 to 200,000 miles. A lot of the information we have on battery degradation comes from Tesla since they have the most EVs on the road, but most other EV batteries behave in similar ways. And all EV makers have been making progress over the last 10 years. Tesla says their batteries are designed to last between 300,000 and 500,000 miles, so replacement shouldn't be a major concern for most drivers. They've also said Tesla's battery packs are designed to outlast the vehicle. For the Model S and X, the Tesla vehicles that have been on the road the longest, they've observed battery retention percentage in the mid to high 80s after 200,000 miles driven. So even after 200,000 miles, the battery hasn't degraded enough to need replacing, and this is still improving. The most recent data from Tesla, in fact, released this April, says that their batteries only lose about 12% of their capacity after 200,000 miles on average. These are particularly from the Model S and X, but soon we should see a lot of data here from Tesla's more popular cars. But why why does battery retention matter? Quote, battery degradation, which represents the loss in capacity and range over time with increasing mileage, is one of the biggest concerns of many electric vehicle buyers. Many are always worried about an EV's range and running out of it, so this data is very important to see. Long term, the battery will become less effective and get you less driving distance, but it's typically a very sustainable and reasonable degradation. Mileage is typically what people look at in these cars as well, so it's only natural to look at EVs the same way, but according to Tesla, mileage Mileage is only one factor in battery capacity retention. Battery age is also a major factor. Retention figures at lower mileages above likely reflect the impact of age, while higher mileage values, which come from high utilization vehicles, likely reflect less influence from battery age. Performance of newer chemistries, not shown here, can vary, and we plan to expand disclosure once we have sufficient data. 
For the Model 3 and Y, Tesla now ships a few different chemistries and form factors, so this data will get more complicated and more accurate, but early data puts it in a similar spot as the Model S and X. Less than 10% capacity is lost after 100,000 miles, and then it slows down from there with less than 15% lost after 200,000 miles. While this data is likely the most accurate because it's from Tesla and paints a general picture, let's look at a specific example of a Model X with 200,000 miles on it. This is a 2017 Model X, fully detailed in a video from Out of Spec Reviews. This particular owner's name is Christian, and he drives a lot for his work. What's extra interesting here as well is that in that 200,000 miles, they say that 65 to 80% of their charging has been done at fast charging stations. Typically those wear on the battery more than home charging, so these results become even more impressive. After five years of heavy use, the 93.7 kilowatt hour battery pack is still able to store about 84 kilowatt hours of energy. That equates to about a 10% degradation in five years and 200,000 miles, which quickly eliminates any smartphone comparison. A smartphone would have degraded far beyond that percentage in five years, whereas the Tesla still appears to be holding up very well. It's likely getting software updates with new features as well. Aside from the battery, the car can still reach its max speed, and the owner detailed a front bumper replacement after a minor collision, and a couple of rust spots. There are some other interior complaints for the car itself over the long term, but this owner also says that the battery system and drive system will hold on. You have to be pretty unlucky to get damage there. He detailed that this is just a car with a different propulsion system, so you'll have issues with suspension and other things that cars have issues with, but believe it or not, the battery is the least of your concerns. That's coming from someone with more experience than most individuals have with any one particular car. 200,000 miles is great for any car, and looking forward, that battery should keep lasting a very long time. As Tesla said, it should outlast the car. So what about a Tesla battery lasting beyond 200,000 miles? There are plenty of people out there, some of which will likely comment on this video, who have a gasoline-powered car lasting well over 200,000 miles. They may neglect to mention the maintenance costs and potential engine they had to replace, but that's besides the point. When comparing these cars, can a Tesla still outlast those examples with the original battery pack? Well, Electrek detailed a 400,000 mile Model X and how it was able to get to that high of a mileage number. This is a Model X 90D. When new, it had an EPA estimated range of 257 miles or 414 kilometers. Today on a full charge, this car is getting 230 miles or 370 kilometers on a charge. That would equate to a 10.5% degradation, but there are a couple of reasons why that number isn't super reliable. First, EPA estimates don't necessarily correlate to the estimated range in the car, and second, this car already had its battery replaced. So a single Tesla battery here didn't get the car to 400,000 miles, but it did get it to the incredibly impressive number of 317,000 miles, or over 500,000 kilometers. At that point, the pack was replaced because of a pack issue. The owner could charge to 40%, and then capacity would drop to zero. At the time, it was replaced under warranty. That's obviously a big issue, and a pack replacement was required, but I think the fact that it lasted 317,000 miles is impressive all on its own. With the new pack, they're seeing about 10% degradation as they approach 100,000 miles. Interestingly, that particular 90D pack is known to degrade faster than other Model X packs, so it's still holding up well in both cases. Similarly, an owner of a Model S hit 200,000 miles in 2019. From there, they sold the car at 214,072 miles and followed up with the new owner to find the car crossing the 300,000 mile mark. This is all great info, but many are wondering about the Model 3 and Y. The thing to keep in mind is that these cars are built on the same platform. While the Model Y is the newest, for the most part, you can look at Model 3 data as the same data for the Model Y. They are the same battery packs for the most part. Arthur Dreesen from the YouTube channel Voyage Without Carbon detailed his Model 3 experience. He uses his Model 3 to travel around North America, and from March of 2018 to April of 2022, had racked up 200,000 miles on his car. There are associated maintenance costs and charging costs, but he's still riding with the original battery pack and seeing 13% degradation at the 200,000 mile mark. This example falls right in line with the data that says it's less than 15% at this mark. Again, 200,000 miles seems to be the breaking point for many when when considering longevity, and this Model 3 is still kicking without issue beyond that. This Model 3 owner on Twitter detailed their 300,000 mile Model 3, saying, replace some suspension, otherwise all original, including brakes, 20% degradation. 
Not only are they on the original battery pack hitting this number, but they're also on the original brakes. That's a benefit that comes with regen braking and can only be seen on electric cars. They post it again in kilometers as well when they hit the 500,000 kilometer mark. This converts to about 310,000 miles and they are still on most of the original primary parts. In particular, as concerns most people, this is the original battery pack. No regular $20,000 replacement at all. The original pack has driven 310,000 miles and counting. It's remarkable. As for the Model Y, built on the same platform, it's so new that we don't really have that much data in this space. However, one owner has crossed the 100,000 mile mark on their 2020 Model Y. They utilized 28,746 kilowatt hours of energy in that time, which very roughly means about 380 battery cycles if they were to have charged that way. As for range loss, they're seeing an estimated range of 286 miles, which is about a 10% loss after 100,000 miles, right in line with Tesla's estimates. Testloop is a Southern California-based shuttle service comprised of Teslas. They regularly drive their cars between LA, San Diego, and many destinations in between, charging up to two times a day and racking up 17,000 miles per month. This has proven to be one of the best real-world examples of Teslas with super high mileage in a short amount of time, and they've racked up over 2.5 million miles across their fleet. As for the results, they said, when we first started our company, we predicted the drivetrain would practically last forever. That's proven to be relatively true. They have cars nearing 500,000 miles, and they are finding that there are essentially no comparable fleet cars. One thing to note, though, is that they have seen battery replacements under warranty. Quote, Testloop has also had to replace about six batteries across its fleet, all of them under warranty. Sonad said, although the batteries have proved durable despite degradation, they were swapped out due to factory or installation issues. This is part of what makes Tesla's battery warranty so important. One original battery of theirs saw a 23% degradation after 330,000 miles driven. That's high degradation, but also incredibly high mileage. As for the issues with the batteries in cars, they say the early design iterations are still a liability, but they all are remedied by the Model 3. They are in the process of switching to the Model 3 and expect costs to come down a lot as a result. The important thing here is the average result and the battery warranty. On average, Teslas and other EVs are lasting a very long time on their original battery packs. Then when something does go wrong, it's most often occurring under warranty. I actually had the battery replaced under warranty on my first 2020 Model Y due to a cell imbalance. It wasn't a normal required replacement or anything like that, but an issue that the car had. I got a notice on screen that my car's range was reduced and I needed to schedule a service appointment. I took the car in and they swapped out the battery pack entirely under warranty. So battery replacements can happen. They happen to me, but this isn't common. A Tesla battery doesn't need to be replaced due to regular wear and tear. So beyond a Tesla battery lasting around 300 to 500,000 miles, how does the rest of the car last? What about the motors? According to Tesla, quote, the Model 3 drive system is designed and validated for over 1 million miles. This is what the gears look like after testing. We've yet to see a Model 3 hit these numbers, mainly due to time, but the owner we detailed earlier is still on their original motors after 300,000 miles. As for the Model S, one owner has still been driving after 1 million miles, but of course, like any car, it didn't make it there with all of its original parts. A German Model S owner driving a Model S P85 officially traveled 1 million miles, or 1,609,344 kilometers. He's currently aiming for the milestone of 2 million kilometers. So keep in mind that 1 million miles is at least five times as long as a vehicle typically lasts. That's incredible, but of course it didn't reach that distance without repairs. His battery pack has been replaced twice, which makes sense given Tesla's estimate of 300,000 to 500,000 miles, and his drive unit has been replaced eight times. This definitely doesn't match what Elon has said about the Model 3 motor, but that's because it's an entirely different older car with an entirely different older motor. It wasn't designed for a million miles. Still, eight replacements is definitely a lot for any car. Two battery pack replacements to hit that mileage, though, is what I'm most impressed by. If this car made it to 1 million miles on three different batteries, on average, they each could have lasted about 330,000 miles. These mileage numbers typically take people decades to reach. Now this video was completely focused on data surrounding Tesla, and for good reason. They lead the industry in terms of scaled EVs, their EVs have been available in large numbers for longer than any company, and they're growing faster than any company making EVs. They will continue having the most data for a long time, but the expectation is that this battery technology isn't exclusive to Tesla. Many other great EVs are coming to market, and we're looking forward to the results those cars bring with battery longevity. Battery electric cars are still relatively new, so even with a Model 3 getting 
getting 310,000 miles on its original battery pack, things will only be getting better from here on out. Many companies are working on battery innovations that last longer, get longer ranges, and are far cheaper. Plus, as more and more EVs reach the end of their life, their battery packs will be fully recycled. As Tesla says, none of our scrapped lithium ion batteries go to landfilling and 100% are recycled. An influx of recycled packs will come long term and that should lead to even cheaper battery replacements. Long term, the thing that worries people the most with EVs, battery cost, could end up being the thing that makes these cars the best possible financial option. We're on the path to cars lasting far longer than before and pack replacements extending an EV for an entire extra life. For many owners, as we saw, this is already the case. I hope this video was helpful for you, and in the meantime, if you want to look into the full costs associated with an EV battery replacement once out of warranty, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.